such a pain, Senpai. Uh-oh. Do you think I'm doing something weird? Uh, I, I swear, it's not what it looks like. Don't jump to conclusions. I can explain. You see, there's this girl. Sometimes we're in the same place at the same time, and sometimes I look in her general direction, but I'm not stalking her or anything like that. Honest. Oh, who am I kidding? No matter how you look at it, I totally seem like a creep, don't I? Please, don't tell anyone about this. I'm not a bad guy, I'm just... I'm just not good at talking to girls. Wait, really? You think she and I would make a cute couple? You want to help me talk to her? Wow, you're a godsend. Let me know when you're ready to put the plan into action. Nice work. What do you need? Pleasure doing business with you. Let me get this straight. You want me to put this thing into my ear so you can tell me what to say when I'm talking to her? That's just crazy enough to work. Okay, let's do it. Make friends with her and arrange a meeting. Oh, and if you find out what kind of guy she's into, please let me know.
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? Do you want me to leave? Wait, you want to know if I need help with anything? N no, no, I'm I'm fine. I mean, um, I'm a little thirsty, but you know that's uh, not not really a problem or anything. Huh? No, no, seriously, it's it's not a big deal. What? You actually got me a drink? But I... Wow, you're you're a really nice person. Hey, I'm not good at anything except sewing, but if if you ever need anything, like, uh, like a spare uniform, maybe, uh, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> mention it. Yeah, there is something I need help with. I lost my phone charm. It's in the shape of a cat. I know that I lost it somewhere in the hedge maze, but I don't want to go back in there. It's scary. I'm worried I'll get lost and be stuck in there for hours. I feel bad for asking, but would you be willing to go into the hedge maze and get my phone charm for me? Really? You'll do it? You're a lot more brave than I am. Good luck! Well, actually, there is something that I need help with. This is really embarrassing, but, well, I lost my bra somewhere at school. I can't find it anywhere. D don't ask me why my bra is missing. It's a long story, okay? The point is, if you find a bra lying around, it's mine, and I would really appreciate if you'd return it to me. Oh god, this is so embarrassing. You'll look for it? Thanks. I hope you find it.
Yes, you found it! Thanks a lot. I owe you one. I saw the most peculiar thing today. There was a kitten walking around the school. I'm not sure how it got in here. It was quite an adorable little creature. I wish I could get a second look at it. If you see that kitten anywhere, would you mind taking a picture of it for me? It's good to find someone else who shares my appreciation for felines. Best of luck to you. Yes, that's it. That's the kitten I saw. Hmm. It appears to be in good health. How delightful. My uniform doesn't fit. It's too tight around the chest. I want to get a new uniform, but I can't afford one right now. Oh, I guess there's no point in complaining. It's not like there's anything you can do. You'll get me a new uniform? Really? I would love that. about it. This uniform is tailored to my exact measurements. Now I'll finally be comfortable. Thank you so much. Why are you interrupting me? Ugh, it's really embarrassing to talk about this sort of thing, but I'm never gonna solve this problem on my own. So, uh, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. 
You know those five tan girls who are always on their phones? I want to ask one of them out on a date. But they all seem to hate me. They avoid me and ignore me whenever I try to talk to them. If I did something wrong, I have no clue what it was. So I was wondering, could you maybe uh, talk to those girls and uh, ask them what they think of me? I just want to know if I can salvage things. Really? You'd help me with this? That's... that's... thank you. I want to ask you something. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him before. The boy with, like, super messy hair, right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. He looks like he's never used a comb in his life. I want to ask you something. Oh, do you mean that guy who, like, doesn't know how to stand up straight? Seriously, he's always hunched over like a caveman. He's gonna end up with major back problems. I want to ask you something. Oh. My. God. I know who you're talking about. The boy with giant glasses that cover half his face. Why can't he just get contacts like the rest of us? I want to ask you something. Who's that? Is that one of the boys who wears a bandana? I don't know which one you're talking about, but they look so goofy with those stupid things on their heads. I want to ask you something. Are you talking about the guy with all the stubble on his face? He really needs to shave it off. It's like he doesn't even know what razors are for. Glasses? Hair? Posture? Really? A bunch of superficial stuff like that? I didn't realize that sort of thing was such a big deal. Anyway, thanks for letting me know. I took off my bandana to adjust it, and a gust of wind just whoosh blew it right out of my hands. I can sense that my bandana is still somewhere on the school grounds. I can feel its energy. I feel naked without my bandana, but I can't find it anywhere. Would you please bring it to me if you find it? Please hurry. Without my bandana, I can feel my life force draining. My bandana! You found it! Oh, you have saved my life! I'll be in your debt forever, forever and ever. Unless you, like, kill someone right in front of me, or something like that. <laughs> I 
I bought a used copy of the Anvania re-release, but the game always crashes right after the first boss. I'm not sure if there's a problem with the disc, or if there's a problem with my Psycho Station 4. Would you please take this disc home with you, play it, and tell me if the game crashes after the first boss? You'll do it? Thank you so much! I really appreciate it! Jan Vania, Senpai of the Night. Monster! You don't belong in this school! It was not by my hand that I am once again given love. I was called here by Senpai, who wished to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal boys' hearts and make them your slaves! Perhaps the same could be said of all girls. Your words are as empty as your heart! Senpai ill needs a girlfriend such as you! What is a senpai? A miserable little pile of heartbreak. But enough talk. Have at you! Ha! <laughs> 
The Academy Institute is a boarding school that teaches magical arts to young men and women who have high potential for wizardry and witchcraft. Once every 100 years, under the glare of a full moon, the ghost of a long-dead succubus will appear within the Institute and beg one of the Institute's upperclassmen to resurrect her with a tribute of blood. If the succubus is resurrected, all of the school students will vanish, except for any students who were in love with the upperclassmen that resurrected the succubus. If the succubus is not slain before the sun rises, the school students will be forever lost, and the succubus's full power will be restored. The succubus can only be slain by a young woman who is in love with the upperclassmen that revived the succubus. The time has once again come for the forces of love and lust to engage in their ancient battle. The Institute beckons you, and no man can say who shall emerge victorious. Ugh. The disc is scratched. So, it crashed for you too, huh? Well, now I know there's nothing wrong with my SS4. You can keep the disc. Thanks for your help. Oh, hi. underneath the school pool. Just 
Don't let anyone see you running around with the wrench. It'll... probably look weird. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. You fixed it? Thank you so much! I'll never suplex another dummy for as long as I live!
Welcome to the Martial Arts Club. What brings you here? Excellent. Let's begin. Welcome to the Martial Arts Club. What brings you here? My students tell me that they appreciate my lessons, but I feel like I still have a long way to go before I can consider myself a good teacher. I'm nowhere near as skilled as my former mentor. She quit martial arts, but she still attends the school. I want to ask her to come back to the club for just one last lesson so I can study her teaching techniques. But there's just one problem. I sometimes wonder if I may have contributed to the reason why she quit martial arts. I'm not sure whether or not it would be awkward for me to approach her and ask her to visit the club again. Really? You'd be willing to speak to her on my behalf. I'd appreciate that a lot. to visit the martial arts club. It'll be so nice to see Budo again. I'll head there right away. I'm sure Osana will be fine by herself for a little while, right? You're not welcome here. Welcome to the Martial Arts Club. What brings you here? Wow, she's a lot more comfortable here than I expected. It was wrong of me to assume that things would be awkward between us. Petty grudges are far beneath her. Thank you so much for your help. club leader was a totally different person last year. She had different hair, a different fashion sense. In fact, she had a completely different personality altogether. Of course, we all accept her for who she is, and we respect whoever she wants to be, but I'm not sure if we're seeing her true self right now, or if she's just putting on a really elaborate act. Every day, she finds a quiet place to write song lyrics without distractions. When she's alone and thinks that nobody's watching her, she might drop the act and revert back to her true self. Can you find her when she's writing song lyrics and take a picture that shows her true nature? Oh, thank you. This might be the only way that I'll ever learn the truth. What are you up to? Back off! Hmm...
Yo! See ya! Playing air guitar and singing, huh? Well, if she even acts this way when nobody's watching her, then it looks like this really is her true self. Thanks for helping me get to the bottom of this. Why are you trying to get all buddy-buddy with me? You think we're gonna be friends or something? It ain't gonna happen. I don't want anything to do with you. Buzz off. Ugh. You're still here? Fine. How about this? Give me one hundred dollars. That'll make us the best of friends. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. Perfect. Excellent. 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 Perfect. Excellent. Good job. I owe you one. What do you need? Pleasure doing business with you. 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 Seriously? I can't... <laughs> Fine. I'll take it. Just so you know, this doesn't change anything. I'm just accepting a gift, that's all. Why are you trying to get on my good side? Oh, I get it. You think if you're friends with a big, bad delinquent, Everyone is gonna respect you. Huh. It ain't gonna work. Look, you don't want to hang with us. Blood gets spilled. 
Bones get cracked. Skulls get split open. Huh. You're not giving up, are you? Okay. Here's a job for you. Find me a knife. Something nice, long, and sharp. You think you can handle that? Bet you'd faint at the sight of a blade. Still trying to act tough, huh? I don't buy it for a second. Whoa, where did... Hmm. It's good enough. Not exactly what I wanted, but it'll do. You might be a little tougher than you look, but you haven't changed my mind yet. You're one of those types, aren't you? You see a bad boy and you think you're going to be the one to fix him, am I right? You think you're going to turn me into a fine, upstanding citizen, don't you? Well, look, I ain't broken and you ain't my type. So whatever fantasy you got in your head, it's not gonna happen. Screw off. Why are you still here? Damn, you're stubborn as hell. I'll say it again. I don't want you around me. The only thing I want right now is a smoke. What? I wasn't... <laughs> whatever. Do what you like. I don't care. What do you need? Pleasure doing business with you. But I don't... At least I know you're not here to try and fix me. Ah, screw it. As long as you keep bringing me free crap, maybe I'll let you stick around. I got you figured out. Someone's been giving you a hard time, and you think if you hang out with the scary delinquents, nobody will pick on you anymore. I'm right, aren't I? Well, your plan ain't gonna work. It'll just turn you into an outcast. You'll be worse off than you could possibly imagine. If you really think you've got what it takes to join us, I want to see some proof. I've smelled booze on the headmaster. Sneak into his office, find his secret stash, and bring it back here. <laughs> Seriously? Don't even think of blaming me if something goes wrong. Did you actually... <laughs> Not bad, I suppose. Must have been real easy to find. Let me guess. It was right out in the open, wasn't it? Huh. <laughs> well, whatever. I'll take it. But you're not one of us yet.
You gotta be real desperate for friends if you're talking to me, of all people. What's the matter? Are you such an outcast that you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point? Listen up. We're from two completely different worlds. You live in the light, and I live in the dark. I ain't saying that just to sound edgy. That's just the way it is. You're the type who studies for tests. I'm the type who just steals the answer sheet. Got it? That's the difference between the two of us. We're not exactly... compatible. <laughs> you got something planned? Gonna try and prove me wrong? Yeah, I'm not holding my breath. Wow, you just... Huh. I hate to admit it, but maybe I was wrong about you. I thought your hands were clean, but maybe we're cut from the same cloth after all. We're not friends yet, though. Ugh, like, oh my god. Have you seen Horida Parisu? She's so creepy. Even worse than those occult club freaks. Whenever she's not in class, she, like, runs off and hides somewhere. What the hell is she up to? I bet she's got a dirty little secret. If you can find her hiding spot and snap a photo of what she's up to, I'd so totally be your best friend forever. Hurry up so I can spill the tea, girl!
seriously? She just reads books? That's it? No way. That can't be the end of it. There's got to be something else going on here. Thanks for the help, though. Now I know where to find her.